Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this interesting example related to quadratic equations or algebraic expressions. We have to solve x plus 1 into x plus 2 into 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 is equal to 756. Now, what is the approach we have to follow to convert the given equation into a quadratic equation. Now you can see that now the degree of this is 4. If you are able to convert that into two quadratic expressions of same coefficients of x square and x then I can substitute that with another variable then I should be able to form a quadratic equation. So what's that I am trying to say now is we'll take x plus 1 and 2x plus 5 as one group and we will also take x plus 2, 2x plus 3 as another group and we will try to multiply them. So my next step will be I'll write down I'll say that x plus 1 into 2x plus 5 multiply that with x plus 2 into 2x plus 3 little bit of rearranging so what's the idea behind that the idea is if I multiply this and if I multiply these groups separately if I am having same terms with respect to x square and x then I can can I can substitute that with another variable so what I am trying to say now is if you multiply this what you will have x into 2x is 2x square 2x square plus x into 5 is 5x 1 into 2x is 2x plus 1 into 5 is 5 now this you multiply again here you will have x into 2x is 2x square x into 3 is 3x plus 2 into 2x is 4x plus 2 into 3 equal to 6. You are pretty comfortable with that. I don't see any problem there. Now simplify this. What is this? This is nothing but 2x square plus 7x plus 5 multiplied with 2x square plus 7x plus 6 which is equal to 700 and 56. Now, if you are able to understand what I am trying to explain earlier is that this part you can see here now 2x square plus 7x. So, you have to pick the group in such a way that ax square plus bx will be the same in both these quadratic expressions so that is what so if you try x plus 1 and 2x plus 3 you are not getting same a and b values here so you rearrange them take another chance and by trial and error you will get it in second time x plus 1 into 2x plus 5 x plus 2 into 2x plus 3 now i will write down let will say that let 2x square plus 7x is equal to t now what this became now t plus 5 into t plus 6 is equal to 756 now will you agree with me that this is an quadratic equation now so let's multiply this I will have t square plus t into 6 is 60 plus 5 into t 5t plus 5 6 are 30 is equal to 756 or if I simplify I will have t square plus 11 t minus 726 equal to 0. Now remember this is an quadratic equation. So we can solve the quadratic equation and find out the values of t. We go back and substitute that with back substitution 2x square plus 7x is equal to t remember that because we are going to use that again after getting the t value to find out the x value so my last step is t square plus 11 t minus 726 equal to 0 so splitting the middle terms or you can directly go for or we can directly go with the quadratic formula but i see splitting middle terms is okay so i'll write down sum equal to 11 and product equal to minus 726 so I can write it as 
33 and minus 22. You can see 33 into minus 22 is minus 726. Also 33 minus 22 is 11. So can I go ahead and write it now? T square plus 33 T minus 22 T minus 726 equal to 0. Or can I simplify that? I can say T into T plus 33 minus 22 into T plus 33 equal to 0. Or can I say T equal to 22 or T equal to minus of 33. So, we got the value of T as 22 or T equal to minus 33. Now, if I substitute those values, how my another quadratic equation? Now, T is 2x square plus 7x. So, can I write it as 2x square plus 7x is equal to 22. The other is 2x square plus 7x is equal to minus 33. Now, if I am able to solve these two quadratic equations now, I should be able to get the values of x. We are only interested in the real values of x. So, let's go to the next step. So, we have two equations now. One is 2x square plus 7x minus 22 equal to 0. The other one is 2x square plus 7x plus 33 equal to 0. Now, here I see that sum is equal to 7 and product is equal to minus 44. I can write it as 11 comma minus 4. So, is it nothing but 2x square plus 11x minus 4x minus 22 equal to 0. Can I take x common and set x into 2x plus 11 minus 2 into 2x plus 11 equal to 0 or can I say x minus 2 into 2x plus 11 is equal to 0 that means x minus 2 equal to 0 or 2x plus 11 equal to 0 so from this I get x equal to minus 11 by 2 and here I get x equal to 2. So, couple of the solutions we can say is 1 x equal to 2 and another x equal to minus 11 by 2. Now, let us go to the next quadratic equation. 2 x square plus 7 x plus 33 equal to 0. Now, I see that here first we want to find out whether we have real solutions for this. So, for that I will find out discriminant that is nothing but b square minus 4 ac. You know that if this value is less than 0 then the roots are imaginary which we are not interested. So, what is b square? 7 square minus 4 into a is 2 into c is 33 that is nothing but 49 minus 264 which is equal to minus 215 which is less than 0 so no real roots from that so solve x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 equal to 756 the solutions are x equal to 2 or x equal to minus 11 by 2 we can verify that x equal to 2 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 2 is 4 2 into 2 plus 3 is 7, 2 into 2 plus 5 is 9. You multiply that, 3 4s are 12, 12 7s are 84 and 84 9s are exactly 756. You can also take x equal to minus 11 by 2 and you can try that. Now let me give you one problem which you can try now. Now, can you try this problem in the same line so that you get practice? x plus 1 into x plus 2 into 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 is equal to 6. It is not 756 now, it is 6, but the logic is the same. I have taken same terms so that you will be convenient in picking one and last as we did. If you want to try another example, let me give you one more. Try this one. x plus 2 into 
x plus 3 into 3x plus 2 into 3x plus 5. Let me check that. Okay, is equal to 480. You can try these two problems and try to find out. These are one type of problems from quadratic equations where you directly don't see a quadratic equation but you have to manipulate them, keep them, take them into two groups and you have to find out those two groups, groups in such a way that both of them have quadratic expressions with the same x square and x terms so that you can take it as a variable and then you can make it as a quadratic equation you solve it and find out the values of x so for the first one x plus 1 into x plus 2 into 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 equal to 6 so the one solution you can have is I think minus 3 you can check that maybe one is minus 3 solution and the other one is you have one should be the solution 3 12 5 60 yeah one is the one solution you can find out the other solution okay so that's for now this type of problems so we will look into more interesting example in the next videos thanks for your time and support bye for now